Hey everyone, my name is Rui and we are back. This is going to be week eight of the PGL NU Cup. This is going to be the final week and this is pretty much going to determine how we go into playoffs. So if I lose this and I lose this pretty badly, then there's an absolute chance that two teams could kick me out of the playoffs. If I win this, I am 100% in. There's nothing that anybody could do to take my number three seed. You can see the matchup here. We have the Kingler, Guzzlord, Vicavolt, Alolan Sandslash, Gigalith, and the Cryogonal. And he has a pretty darn scary team. He has the Excel Gore, the Hitmonchan, Houndoom, Braviary, Slowking, and the Mudsdale. Now, in my mind, the Kingler could deal with a lot of his team. I really wanted to bring the Kingler, especially since I only brought it to a few matches throughout this entire season. I believe that this is a banded Alolan Duck trio with the Sand Force. I did make sure that it was Sand Force this time, and he doesn't have too, too many switch-ins to Cryogonal, so freeze-dry spam is going to be a lot of fun in this match. Uh, the Vicavolt's just here to deal as much damage as possible. The Vicavolt even if he does want to switch in the Mudsdale, I deal so much damage with that energy ball. Uh, the Guzzlord has a decent matchup here. Obviously, if I get caught with that hit one chain, it's not great, but the Guzzlord does decently well against the rest of his team. I did do a better job of making sure that I speed creep everything. I'm just going to get into the match. I believe I just lead off with a Kingler, and honestly, I just wanted to start to build dense into his team, right? So whatever he led with, I kind of honestly did expect the Excelgore to lead in this situation. I really just wanted to get as much damage off as I could early on and he does end up bringing out the excel gore so i did end up calling that right but i expected him to try to get up toxic spikes um and i thought that, that would give me the free opportunity to go for an agility and even if he did want to giga drain me i didn't think that it would be, do enough to me uh whatever he did i just wasn't sure that it would do enough to me that i would be able that it would hurt my kingler too much so i get up that agility i outspeed his entire team i know i do and i get the liquidation off and that life orb sheer force liquidation is able to just take this dang thing out and he ends up bringing his breviary and i don't know what else to do i just click liquidation again um I just have to see whatever this liquidation can do and we get another oko and i'm feeling really really good uh this is like the match against serene grace where uh, I ended up taking out the first three of her mons. In comes the Slow King, and I just click knock off. Um, I was very confused by the Calc because the Calc said that I clearly shouldn't Oko, but I actually forgot to put in the uh, item on the Slow King. So that barely clearly Oko'd. I do take a little bit of life or damage, but um, I was pretty happy about that because I was fully expecting to not KO it be able to hit me with something i didn't expect it to be able to take me out but i didn't expect it to oko in comes the hitmonchan and we get another oko with that life orb sheer force liquidation then in comes the hound doom and at this point the final two of his pokemon are weak to water and again stab sheer force life orb liquidation does get an oko onto this hound doom and uh the final mon on his team is going to be a mudsdale and uh in doing calcs i saw that even a max hp max defense mudsdale cannot take a an adamant max attack sheer force life orb liquidation to the face and that's going to be the match i don't quite know what to say about this one it is a seven turn match Kingler leads and gets all seven of those KOs. Like I said, I don't quite know what to make of this match. Uh, it went about as well as a season can end. So we do get the 6-0 win. We do get our spot in the playoffs cemented. We do get an extra six points onto our differential. So everything is looking good by the looks of it. I have the third seed clinched, and the first two seeds are clinched by Blazing Squid at one, the Arizona Volcarona, and the Salt Lake City Swamperts at number two, coached by Thumb Brother 2. So it looks like no matter what happens with that final seed, and it's pretty much wide open to a whole bunch of people, it looks like I'm going to be up against uh, Thumb Brother 2 in a rematch from earlier in the season. Like I said, he has a very, very difficult team to deal with. However, this rematch is going to be a whole lot of fun because I did get a huge, huge feel for the way that he plays and the way that my season just panned out, I think that the team that I would build today is going to be a lot different from the team that I built on that day. And I think that I'm going to be a lot better prepared coming into that playoff match. But uh, this is only a four person playoff. So that means I am in the semifinals for whatever that's worth. And if we can take this rematch up against Thumb Brother 2 and his Trick Room Galore team, then we would be going into the finals against whoever wins against Blazing Squid and the four seed. And that would be a whole lot of fun if we can go 
the distance on that one. So who knows? I guess we will see. But for right now, we do have plenty of PGBL content. We do have a brand new league, the SBN, coming up pretty darn soon. We have UBL coming up not too long from now. It's going to be a lot, a lot of fun closing out the summer like this. But that's going to be it for me. With that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll be once again out.